اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جلالك الذي خلقت له الدواء فلكل داء دواء ولكل ابتلاء شفاء ولا سحر ينفذ في المنزل أو في الجسد الحمد لله الذي أرسل رسول بالهدى والدين الحق لذل على دين كل كفى بالله شهيد وشهد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد أحب في الله in this world there are so many evil people around the world people who are full of hatred and when the individual has hatred inside him it will burn and envy it will burn him inside until he goes to the length and do evil to anybody out there a child an adult he doesn't care he himself thinking he's doing good but in fact is doing evil to his own self he doesn't feel happy until he sees that he's done this evil act and the evil act is just seconds and then there we go some fall into regret in their nature they are not used to evil but some they don't fall into regret they just want to do evil and and carry on with their evil just like allah has created evil and good there will be always someone out there doing evil today my main subject is sihrul marshush black magic of sprinkling Sihr al-Marshush is from the branches of black magic. Sihr al-Marshush is very dangerous magic. It's a magic where it can hit anybody. Specifically, I repeat, the target and the one who's not targeted. But the one who's not targeted, who is there, is the one who's not holding tight to the, his adhkars, morning and evening. Sometimes magic could be thrown to someone and the person is upright and they end up hitting another person who is not upright who is not holding tight to his adhkar of morning and evening including salah sihr al mirshush is a dangerous sihr believe me or not every sihr is a dangerous sihr before i move forward just look at this video look at this evil individual he goes and sprinkle whatever in the stairs and then he knocks the door and leaves and runs in few seconds someone comes and open the door and looks around no one is there and he goes back and close the door but it doesn't take that long again few seconds the guy comes and start collapsing down and becoming mad down this is what it does sihr for those who do not hold tight to the quran and sunnah they become catalyst of their own downfall sihr this is how dangerous it is very dangerous for those who does not i repeat hold tight to the quran and sunnah praying five times salah at kar morning and evening this is the state that man i feel sorry for him and ask allah to cure him from the sihr that is sihr al marshush someone went and sprinkled whatever there allah knows best and the effect of it you all have seen it sihr al marshush they can sprinkle spam eggs water the water which they clean on a dead body the najasa either urine or urine of animal or urine of woman coconut milk coconut water human dirty or blood or powder or sand the list goes on and it hits the individual 
boom. By the qadr Allah, if Allah decreed, if the person holds tight to Quran and Sunnah, and if Allah decreed to hit him, it will hit him. But if Allah did not decree, they will be doing it and doing it and doing it until they are tired. So once they've done that, they come and sprinkle outside the house. Before doing that, they collect just your name and they go and sprinkle there without anything. This is Rumar Shush. They don't need your clothes. They don't need your picture. They don't need... Uh, any of your belongings, just your name, and they do whatever they do, and they come and sprinkle there. And you had it. You have problems after problems in your life. They can sprinkle in a business. They can sprinkle in a car. They can sprinkle in a house. All these will have an effect if they sprinkle it. If they sprinkle in a house where they, the, the family leaves, this one will attack the family. If they sprinkle in a business shop or whatever, it will attack the rizq. If they sprinkle in a car, there is a specific goal there. To destroy that car or to kill the individual. And Allah knows best. The regular symptom which happened to any another magic is three. Night, day, and the, the ibadah. The individual will struggle to do any ibadah. The individual will struggle to live during the day. And the individual will struggle in the sleep. What are the symptoms? General symptoms. The house will be smelling a lot. A lot. And if it's business, the business will collapse. People will not go to that business. And if it's car, the car will start breaking down or the individual will be having accident after accident. When it comes to the human being, the individual will start having problems with his feet. Fungus in the feet strange appearance in the legs, diseases, spots from the knees all the way down, feeling cold and hot. In the knees, feeling like someone is blowing the knees. Spots, feeling very cold and hot. Isolation in the house. If it's that house, the individual will isolate himself always in the house. No job, no nothing. Or oh, isolate inside is the car. He loves to stay in his car. Or oh, he will be loving to stay in his business because that's where the magic is attracting him to work. The car or the business. If it's the house, the individual will be isolating himself there. Distressed, insomnia, certain diseases in the feet, back pain, chest tightness. This is very, very common when the jinn comes and stays in the chest. The individual will have the symptoms. Some of the symptoms have similarity with other black magic. Bruises. Bruises in the legs. Abnormal things happen in the legs. Pulsating in the legs. Distress. Redness in the eyes sometimes. This is Sihrul Mershush, the black magic of sprinkling. It happens on three places. In the house, in your car, in a business. It can take place in these three places. By the will of Allah Rabbul Izzah. And in the house, you can go to the link that can happen inside the toilet, inside the rooms, inside... Now, what are the treatment? How to treat oneself from this calamity? Isti'an al Allah, number one. Salah, five times, because there's so many people who are inflicted, but they don't pray. They don't pray and they want cure. How, how is that going to work? And then read Surah Al-Baqarah. Qul ya al-kafirun, 
and then read surah dukhan on the water put salt peppermint sprinkle everywhere in your house outside your car your business sprinkle it do it for one month non stop or two month non stop inshallah you will feel the relief by the will of allah rabbul izz stay tuned for more aba yahya from the rock to wa akhir da'wana wa salamun ala al mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu alhaq